All right, guys, how's everyone doing? Um, so today I will be going over um, some of the long form updates that are coming to niches uh, in the coming week. Uh, so one thing that I want to do here is I want to go over two different use cases. Uh, there, there's going to be a variety of use cases once, once it's all said and done. Uh, but today I want to go over uh, two. So one is poem. So I'm going to write a poem using uh, the long form templates that I'm coming out with and I'll show you guys how that works. And then the other thing I'm going to do is write a quick first draft of, of a biography. Um, so of a famous person. So yeah, let me jump right into it. So I'm going to copy, first I'm going to copy the poem template. Um, so this is going to write a poem. Uh, and basically how, how, uh, the long form, <clears throat> The new long form auto write will work is you have brackets and then you have variables and then you have the engine that or the that piece of text will use. So as you can see here, uh, I want to come up with a poem title and I want to write three verses or stanzas um, in the poem, um, and it's going to focus on one topic. Um, so I'm going to try to hit auto write, and what happens is. It's, you get an error that the document still has variables in it. So uh, the first thing you need to do is get rid of those variables. Um, the, and how you get rid of the variables is you click the red variables button. And now I can enter a topic. So uh, let's talk about, let's see, being a single mom of three kids. Um, so I'm going to hit apply. And so it, it replaces all the occurrences of topic. And now we're ready to auto write. Um, so again, this is the first draft. Let's see what it comes up with. So let's do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we got a title being a single mom. We got the first uh, verse of the poem. Uh, let's see, being a single mom with your kids. Cool. Uh, but this one, this doesn't look like a poem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to run it again. Um, so let's run it again. Yeah, that's not that good. But yeah, we can keep on generating. That's the cool thing. We can keep on generating. And we can even tweak this. So we can say... Uh, it's hard to be a single mom. Uh, we can kill that and then we can all right again. Okay, so that looks good. All right, so these markers, so these are markers that basically let you rerun uh, a command easily if you don't like the output. Uh, so I will do that. I'll just delete these because I like the output that came there. Uh, this one I like, so I'm gonna do that. Let's see here, my poem is almost done. Uh, this is a little strange, but it's, uh, I'm not gonna change it for the purposes of keeping things short. I'm not gonna change it. So there's my first, uh, there's my first draft of being a single mom poem. Uh, one morning, my ex-husband stole my car keys. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, that's being a single mom. Uh, I'm gonna save that being a single mom poem. Um, about being a single mom. Cool, and that's like, yeah, in a couple minutes I have my first draft, and that's pretty exciting. Uh, now, what if we wanted to do the same thing, but we wanted to uh, you have a different topic in, uh, in this third verse? So, uh, this really helps when you're mass uh, producing a lot of content. Uh, so... Again, yeah, so we'll have two topics now. Uh, 
Again, you could you could just write what you want here. Uh, so let's see if we want to talk about global warming. We we get something about global warming there, and the the, the topic would drop from the variables overlay. But uh, the cool thing about topics is it's gonna let you. Sorry, not topics, but variables is it's gonna let you um, create lots of the same content quickly, uh, rough drafts that is. Uh, and yeah, I'll we'll probably have like a drop down here of uh, templates, um, ready-made templates that you can use. So, but uh, I'll get there eventually. But yeah, that's poem. So now, oh, yeah, I lost. I really like that poem. I might come back and finish it. Um, <laughs> don't want to save it. Uh, so let's create a new document for... The autobiography, so uh, brainstorming autobiography. Here we go over the auto. We are going to talk about the lives of a person, and it's not an autobiography, it's going to be a biography. It's not about me. All right. Um, I'm going to take the biography template and I'm going to paste it here. Uh, let's see here. All right, so uh, in this autobiography, we're going to talk about the person's upbringing using the magic paragraphs uh, engine. Uh, we're going to use the wildcard tool to. Uh, write something that says this person is amazing then we're going to say put any kind of text that you want in the middle and then finish it off with no wonder people love the pronoun of the person uh where the person excels that's going to be a heading because it doesn't have any brackets uh and then we're going to write about the ability to do one thing they do then we're going to discuss how that person is great at doing another thing they do uh, where the person falls short that's a heading because it doesn't have any brackets so we're going to write a par paragraph about their bad habits we're going to write a paragraph about the time where that person disappointed people what the person will do in the future talk about what the person has planned in the future discuss how the world will be a better place after uh, with that person in it using the magic paragraph tool um, and then we're going to talk about the special ability of that person using the wild card tool so again can't write it because it has wow it has uh variables so what we're going to do is we're going to fill those variables all right so today we're going to write a biography on kanye west i tested this and i liked it it was pretty funny uh person pronoun him thing they do one uh make beats rapping uh, all right so we're going to apply that and now we're ready to use auto write. So um, let's see what we get. It's writing now. Cool. So, here's my biography of Kanye West. Uh, let's see. So, let's see what the upbringing was. His upbringing was where I was born in Chicago. So, reparated. Oops. Let's pull that. Huh. Yeah, so that's not true. She's, she died, but not from a drug overdose. That's AI. <laughs> you, it, it makes up things. Yeah, so this is cool. This came up with this fun fact where he's an amazing rapper, but he's an also oh, incredible producer and fashion designer. So that's cool. Yeah, that's an error. 
but yeah, so we've got this really long article now, which is uh, 944 words that kind of flows nice. Uh, it's going to take some massaging, but it's a great starting point. Um, and it's a different way to interact with all the tools that exist in niches. As you can see, uh, like Magic Paragraphs is available through uh, like the content plan, so you can click and keep generating uh, paragraphs to string them together, or you can use this and get like a really long article and then like edit it to your liking, you know? Um, so it's a different way to do things. Uh, that's cool. Uh, but let's see. Let's do a biography of another person now. Um, so again, we plug in that template, and, and templates will be, there's going to be tons of templates. There's going to be templates for job descriptions, templates for uh, maybe like uh, industry specific. So maybe you have a, maybe you're a lawyer and I don't know, you need some, some kind of legal brief or something. Uh, somebody will invent or I'll, who knows, I don't know if I'll make it, but maybe someone else will, a template for those kinds of things. But uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's not only useful for blogs, like, and that's why we've been releasing a lot of uh, tools that are like, a little wacky, you know, <laughs> like a like the crossword puzzle generator, because uh, there's a lot of different use cases. It's not just writing blog posts, so that's really exciting. But anyways, let's do so. It saved my uh, person from last time. Let's do Beyonce this time, or let's do Barack Obama. No, I don't even know, man. It's so hard. Uh, <laughs> let's do Beyonce. All right, her, sing, and dance. All right. So it's going to make the replacements, and then it's going to do all right. So. All right. Here we go. So we've got 900 words uh, about Beyonce. <laughs> uh, so this talks about her upbringing. Uh, and then this is a cool article about why people love her using the wild card tool. I love the wild card tool because it's great if you want to force a certain keyword uh, or first force a certain style. Uh, as you can see in the Kanye example, it started with Kanye's amazing. Uh, something really cool, fun fact about him, and then no wonder people love him or love her, you know. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this is a different way to interact with AI that uh, gives you back articles that are it's, it's interesting. The content you get back, it's like you like reading it, but then like you want to make edits to it. So it's really, it makes writing really a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to what you guys create once it launches uh, and to really get a gauge for the usage to understand uh, what it needs to do going forward. All right. So thank you for watching. If you came this far, thank you so much. Uh, and I'll see you in the Facebook group.